Hello, my name is Jacob Cormier. I'm an actor living in Los Angeles. Uh, I primarily do theater work, but recently I've been getting more involved with film work. I like to perform in dramatic pieces for film, but I'm more involved with uh, comedy and theater. I'm originally from Massachusetts. Uh, when I was about 14, my parents moved us to Florida where I met theater. Uh, so I've been really involved with that ever since about the last 10 years now. I lived in the Tampa Clearwater area for about four years and then I had to leave because I was 18 and it was time for me to move on. Um, and then I moved to New Jersey where I went to college at Fairleigh Dickinson University uh, and really started to take acting more seriously than I had previously. Fairleigh Dickinson originally accepted me as a directing and writing major um, and over the course of my studies there I sort of figured out that I should be more involved with acting than directing and that's pretty much all I did. <laughs> I found a way to make sure that I graduated a year early uh, and that I managed to do as many film and theater classes as I wanted to in that time and I really really went for um, the play Dog Sees God uh, I was very prepared for the role of band. Um, <laughs> I just had a lot of fun with it. When I graduated, I moved to Los Angeles pretty much right away. Uh, I think before I even got my diploma, actually. Um, and I moved here because I wanted to get more of a film education. I had a little bit of that at school, but not quite as much as I would like. But the film community is great. I do, I really enjoy the film community and like just the amount of projects that are going on, the willingness of people to just jump on a project and go do it, uh, which is cool. It's a lot of fun to be around with people like that. Um, so I met Lauren while tending bar at a theater, um, probably a year before this project started to kind of fall into hand. Uh, and uh, we hadn't really kept in contact um, and then she came to my restaurant that I work at on, on her birthday. Uh, and I said, hello, uh, I don't know if you remember me. And we spoke for a little bit. And then she asked, uh, do you have your headshot and resume? And I said, no, uh, no, I'm busting tables right now. Uh, why do you need it? And she's like, oh, uh, the producer for a film that I'm in right now and the director is here right now. Uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll go get you my email or whatever, you know? Uh, so it sort of just came to me. But it was, it was a lot of fun, we kind of jumped right in, we understood how each other were approaching it. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to shooting the rest of the film with her. Adam's a very nice guy. Uh, I enjoy having him on set. Uh, he's a good positive energy uh, and he's a good morale booster for David as well. They, they click together well. Uh, as long as the crew is happy, I am happy. I have known about parkour since 2006 uh, when Casino Royale came out and that was the big thing for a lot of people in the community. Uh, it was the first time many people were exposed to it. Uh, so I've been watching videos non-stop since 2006. I started training more seriously probably about like 2010, 2011 because I had more people who were willing to train with me at college than I did in high school. Um, it was still sort of just a hobby for me for a while, and then I started to meet more of the professionals in the community. Um, like these people who get paid to go travel the world and just do their martial art. Um, if I were to die tomorrow, what would my legacy be? Um, I think it would be my writing or at least that's what I would like it to be. Uh, I love acting, I've been very gifted with uh, the opportunities that I've been given, uh, and the people I've worked with, the training I've had, everything. I've, I've been very lucky with my acting. Um, but my writing is really sort of, I feel like for me that's where it all sort of starts. Uh, when you like learn how to speak when you're two, three years old uh, and you're forming your first sentences and things like that. It all kind of comes back to that, to that pursuit of language, of knowledge, of learning for me. Uh, and that's what writing is for me. You get to create worlds, you get to live in those spaces, uh, you get to have conversations with people who don't exist. Uh, it's great, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and those stories, I think, will go on past me.